Welcome everyone to this new performance benchmark video. A few weeks ago I uploaded a video in which I was performing some benchmark tests with Godot and Unity, trying to know who is performing better in both 3D and 2D. The tests I did were in native builds for Windows and Linux and in an Android device. In this video I will be benchmarking Unity vs Godot again, but this time with the samples running in a browser. I will use the exact same samples I showed in the last video. I have adapted them to be built for WebGL. So I will perform again an object instantiation test, which means to instantiate objects and see how the engine performs as the number of elements is increasing. For the 3D tests, I'm going to drop cubes on a plane and for the 2D tests, I'm going to drop little balls in a box. The relevant key performance indicators will be when the frame rate is dropped below 60 and when it's dropped below 30. For these WebGL tests, I think that it's interesting to see not only the performance of each engine, but also the capabilities of each browser to run everything. So, in order to keep things simple, I have decided to perform the tests in the two main major browsers. Google Chrome and Firefox. Here you have the details about the hardware and the version of each browser I have used for running the benchmark. With everything being said, let's go with the tests.
The conclusion I do is pretty much the same the one I did with the native and Android tests. Unity has a better performance in a 3D environment while Godot has a powerful 2D engine. Please remember that, as I said before, performance might not be the most important thing to keep in mind when choosing an engine. Regarding the best browser to play the game in these particular tests, Google Chrome has demonstrated to be better at rendering the samples. Thank you for watching and goodbye.